Sharky, next fight, be less rowdy. Really? A combat veteran like you can't concentrate over my enthusiasm. Pathetic. You're making yourself an easier target. Yeah, that may be the case, but I know you will pop them before they pop me, so in essence, I'm making them easier targets for you to pop. You see? Making me work twice as hard. If we get through this, Herky, we gotta take a goddamn vacation, okay? Hell yeah! Harky rides again. Where do you want to go? It's Shirky, man. We agreed on Shirky. I'm thinking someplace tropical, exotic, foreign, man. Florida, maybe. Florida? Man, as much as I like orange juice, that's sad even for you. What are you? They got cocktails, gators. Those are the two best things. They got everything. You got your bow hunting license, Jess? You got your flamethrowing license, Sharky? You don't need one. Well, that's fucking terrifying news. Sharky, even you gotta have goals, ambitions. What is it? Yeah, I tried to sort it out once, and I looked within myself to find the answers, and it was just like looking at a box of Christmas lights. Right? Full of promise? All fucking tangled. So, Miss Armstrong, you got any kind of, uh, I don't know, political affiliation? Kill Peggy's. For now, that's all you need to know. Keeping it real. I like, I like. Grace, you were in the middle fucking east. But I bet this shit is harder. <laughs> you know it. Strangers versus neighbors. Yep, yeah, and feeling like I should have seen all this coming. Gracie, sweetheart, you seem real tense a lot of the time. That's called combat readiness. I think you're stressed. Do you want to borrow Xander? For what? You know. Whoa! <laughs> he really hits the spot. Uh, no thanks. He's all yours. See? You're so tense! I hear you've been out of the country. What's it like? Listen, man. Everywhere you go is some kind of fucked up, okay? Basically, all them countries I've been to, they got one thing in common. And that's some dude who just wants to keep all the treasure and ladies and beer for himself. Figured. Dang, we agreeing? Am I right? That, that just happened? Yeah, don't get used to it. Hey, Mom. How you doing? Oh, quick question. Um, you never loved me or Daddy, did you? Oh, God, not this again. Yeah, Mama, again. I keep asking, but you don't never tell me. Half the time you call, there's elephants or monkeys screaming in the background, and the signal sucks. Oh, okay, I guess you don't want to have a heart-to-heart -heart in earshot of the deputy, huh, Ma? Oh, I understand. You should try a quieter weapon, Adelaide. Like your bow? Yeah. Then the Peggies won't hear you coming. They just go down. Sweetheart, you want them to hear you coming when they go down. Fucking gross. You were the kid that barfed on my friend's shoes years ago, weren't you? Well, yeah, but in my defense, I'd eaten a lot of pie and she was real pretty. Did you think eating all those pies was going to impress her? Of course, she's only human. Why? Hey, Herky, do you ever think about how weird it is that your mama was saying your name when she was, you know, making jello with your dad? Yeah, I think about that all the time, man. That's why I keep telling people just to call me Junior. Yeah, but then it's like, Junior what? And then everybody knows it's Herc, and then you're right back to thinking about your mama hollering your daddy's name, which is your name, while she's getting it. And then everybody in the community would know that that's why you don't go by Herc, and then they would all also be thinking about your mom, you know, getting it. So it's worse that way. God damn it, Sharky. I never thought of that. You're absolutely right. Let's just get people to start calling me Panther then. Jess, first of all, I just want you to know that you kick a lot of ass and I respect you for that. What the fuck do you want? Well, between my shoulder blades is this giant painful zit. Now, fuck no. Really? I would pop yours. You're being selfish here. Ma'am? Uh... Auntie Addie? What is it, honey? Oh my God, she called me honey. Jesus H. Christ, I call everyone that. What is it? Uh, I, uh, I was gonna say about, um, bye. Hey, Miss Armstrong, did you really win an Olympic medal? Yeah, why? Cool, that's probably why we got paired together, because I kind of kill at like an Olympic level.
I was in the army too, you know? Shh, I'm fantasizing about carrying the torch. Jess, you got family? Who's looking after you? Me, myself, and I. That's fine. But when this all shakes out, my door's open. Sure. Adelaide, your aim's gotten even better than I saw back at the range. Oh, that's real special coming from you, Gracie. Thank you. You still pull to the right, though. Never thought I'd say this, sweetheart, but a couple of inches don't matter. Heard a lot about you, Herc. That's cool, dude. Hey, it's cool, dude. I never was that popular in high school, but I'll tell you this. Ever since, man, I swear, it's like I'm the captain of the football team, lead cheerleader, and the principal rolling to one big fucking sleeping bag full of beer. What? No, I just heard you're always around when, what's that word, insurrection happens. Well, well, I haven't seen no resurrection yet, but me and uh, the monkey god, we pretty tight. I also talk to all the baby Jesuses quite a lot, the white one, the black one, the bow and arrow one. Um, yeah, I'll let you know what happens. I don't even know what we're fucking talking about anymore. Me and Daddy got along just fine without you. Thanks for asking, Mama. I wasn't asking. I knew you'd be fine. Lord, it's not like I stabbed your father or something. You stabbed him in the heart metaphorically and in the bank account. You go on thinking that, sweetheart. I can see your father's told his side of the story plenty of times. Jess, you know, I like you. Yeah? Remind you of yourself from, like, 40 years ago? No, the opposite. Took me a while to wise up, but you're already there. Huh. Okay. Thanks, I think. And that'd be, like, 26 years ago, thank you very much. Sharky, did you, uh, make that flamethrower yourself? That's a stupid question. Of course I did. Just want to know how far away I should stand? Listen, she's got so much duct tape on her, it's like a force field. She'll never blow. I'm serious. Next fight, you gotta pick up the slack or Depp's gonna bench you, man. Bench me? Huh? Bench me? Sharky, you need to respect your elders, man. I got way more life experience than you, and I bust way more heads than you. Just because you had one of the most brilliant ideas I've ever heard of in my life, which was to tape dynamite to monkeys, doesn't mean that you know everything about everything. You watch your mouth. You bite your tongue, okay? And you show my chimps. That's right, they are chimps. You show them the proper respect, okay? You don't go slandering their names. You need to watch yourself, Sharky. Whole county's dry as a bone. I know, trust me, I know. Can't find any drinks anywhere. I meant your fucking flamethrower. Hey, Auntie Addie, I, I don't know if you know this about me, but I've, I write poetry. Turns out, a lot of the poetry I write is about you. Jesus H. Christ. Okay, let's get this over with. Here's one I wrote last night. You are like fire. You are hot and dangerous and can kill people. The end of my poem. Sup, Grace? Hey, for the record, I think the poor immigrants is wrong. Everyone can earn a place here in America. I was fucking born here. Uh-huh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, I believe you. Don't worry, I believe you. It's cool. I'm winking. Fucking hell. Jess, have you ever thought of joining the forces? The army? Nah. I don't like being bossed around. Fair enough. But you know, if you're good, eventually you get to be the boss. Fuck that. They'd kick me out my first day. <laughs> no harm in trying. That Joseph Seed. He's slipperier than a greased-up dildo. I'm not going to ask why that's your go-to metaphor. Ever tried a double-ender on a boat in stormy seas? <laughs> You'd know why. You gotta breathe quieter, Herc. You'll give yourself away. Good way to get yourself killed out here. Huh? No, ain't possible, Migo. I gotta take in max air, let it go full blast. My body is like a jet engine running on a high octane fuel going Mach 10. More like a fucking hippopotamus than a jet engine. Oh, yeah? Well, how about I just hold my breath next time I'm saving your ass in a fight? Like that'll happen. Herc? I'll say this only once or twice, so listen up. Yeah. You're not a complete fuck-up. 
I love you, Mama. We gonna have matching tattoos before you know it. Just you watch. Addie Xander is young enough to be your fucking kid. Ha <laughs> ha! Needed to get that off your chest, huh? It's fucking gross. He's an adult. All the men in Hollywood get away with that and more. That's different. You tell yourself that, sweetheart. Hey, Grace, uh, I'm wondering, you know, uh, just when it comes to gentlemen folk, like, do you have a type? Not for me or anything. Um, my cousin Herc wants to know. Yeah, the strong, silent type. You know, Sharky, I miss you sometimes when I was traveling. Ah, oh, that's the sweetest damn thing, thanks, cuz. Yeah, it's true, man. Because mosquitoes always liked you so much better, and if you'd just been around, I wouldn't have had to take that fucking malaria medicine. Hey, you can go straight to hell on a looped-up slip and slide, dick lick. You had a crush on Fox Robin Hood too, Jess? Seriously? I figured because of the bow and all. Just saying. I'd wear a tail and ears for you. Never go full furry, Sharky. You'll never come back. Andy Adelaide, I just wanted to say, um... I can't wait to see what your marina looks like when you get it all fixed up. Just you wait. It'll be gorgeous. Yeah, I bet it will be gorgeous. Though I'm sure its beauty will pale in comparison to yours. You're only ever invited to one of the two. Herc, did you say you were trained? Uh, no, ma'am, I'm not trained. I'm a free agent. But you've been overseas in a few crisis situations before, from what I heard. Yes, ma'am, I have. I went to the school of hard knocks. Hey, Jess, you're doing really good out here. I just do the shit that needs to get done. Sure. Just don't forget to take care of yourself, too. What's that supposed to mean? Decompress. I like praying for that. Well, I like killing Peggy's for that. <laughs> Adelaide, are you wearing perfume? Yes. If I got a date with death, I'm gonna be at my best. You know that shit attracts bears, right? I'm fine with hairy guys. Oh, my God. Damn, Jess, you're looking good today, girl. You got that uh, badass ninja shit going on, like you might kill me any second. I dig it. I guess that's a compliment. Damn right, lady girl. Got plenty more where that came from, too. Just get one thing clear, okay? I'm not never going to call Xander my daddy. Don't you worry about that. I'm keeping him the hell away from you. Well, good. I thought you were going to try and make us a family or something. I want that about as much as I want a yeast infection. Getting rich off a of divorce. Must be nice. You think I'm a bimbo who doesn't deserve it, huh? Hey, I just know what I heard. Jess, you don't know shit. Whatever, Mom. <laughs>